Hello, my dear students. I hope you are all doing well and are preparing for your upcoming examinations. So welcome to another class on history of English language. So in this particular lesson, we are going to learn about some sound changes which happened in Old English. Old English na sametha ondaya chela sound changes na peti thana namlla padi kya bogan hai. Okay. So I'll introduce three different types of sound changes to you that occurred in the Old English period. So we have already covered one sound change, which was Grimm's law, which was called first sound shifting. So this first sound shifting and the varna kairitne explain jaya na na Grimm's law sramichada. So the first sound shifting was how Proto-Indo-European plosive consonants underwent changes when it changed to Germanic. Indo European in the Germanic lake of Pogan the Sametha, not on the changes on a first sound shifting in the Varayanada, other than the Grimm's law will already cover the Ganyu. So, in this particular lesson, we are going to concentrate on a later stage, Old English period. Old English period in the moon sound changes. First is mutation, second is metathesis, and fourth, third is uh, a blot or vowel gradation. Let's focus on the first one first. So this is mutation or umblot. Mutation or umblot. So this is a very important sound change that took place in the old English period. And it, it has even left its mark on modern English. So this particular sound change is called umblot or mutation. And umblot can be divided into two kinds. Front mutation and back mutation. Front mutation is also called palatal mutation. Back mutation is also called guttural mutation. Let's look at the first kind of mutation first. Front mutation. Front mutation, it has an alternate name. It is also called eye umblot. Front mutation is also called eye umblot. So what is front, front mutation? What is a front vowel? Okay. Front vowels are those during the production of which the front of the tongue is raised towards hard palate. Okay. Front um, vowels are front portion hard palate like raise the parayana vowels are front vowels in the Okay. So let's focus on what I umblot or front mutation is. So basically in front mutation what happens is uh, a vowel or diphthong is modified. A vowel or diphthong is modified because of the influence of E or Y of the second syllable. Okay. In a particular word in the second syllable there will be an E or Y. Because of the presence of this E or Y, another vowel or diphthong in the first syllable will undergo modification. One vowel in the second syllable will undergo modification. One vowel in the second syllable will undergo modification. One vowel in the second syllable So that is called I umblot. So what happens to this E or Y after making the change, after causing the change? So, after causing the change, it mostly disappeared or it remained weakened to A. Pidana Sambhavakinna or Onnagil complete item disappeared out alangil other weak vowel item are. So, this particular change took place in the 6th century. Let's look at some examples. So, let's look at this. How uh, this first um, vowel a ah, change to a. Ah. Let's look at this example. Dalian. Let's look at this. Dalian. Dalian in the second syllable there is an there is a year. So there is a year in the second syllable of this word. And because of this year the first sil, uh, the vowel in the first syllable undergoes a change and it becomes Dalian. Okay. From Dalian it becomes Dalian. Dalian. Okay. I don't know exactly how it is pronounced, but we can say this for now. Okay, let's look at another example. So, in Germanic, uh, plural suffix was is. Now, we have plural S-E-S. 
and in germanic the plural suffix was is let's look at this fort fort means foot plus is fort is now look at fort is now let's zoom in on this one let's look at fort is okay in fort is the first syllable is fort second syllable is is so what is in the second syllable yes there is an e in the second syllable and because of this particular e in the second syllable o undergoes a change o in the first syllable undergoes a change and it becomes fate which later became feet okay we would not know man slayo fort plus is is equal to fortis okay രണ്ടാമത്തെ സിലബിളിൽ ഒരു ഇ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ആ ഇന്റെ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് കാരണം ആദ്യത്തെ സിലബിളിലുള്ള ഓന് ഒരു മോഡിഫിക്കേഷൻ വന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഓ ബിക്കെയിം എ ഫേറ്റ് എന്ന് മാറി സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഫ്രണ്ട് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ദർ ആർ അതർ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ടു ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു കൺവേർട്ട് നൗൺ ഇൻ ടു വേർബ്സ് yan was added j a n yan was added let's see ford ford means food plus yan becomes fordian fordian nu varayum second syllable oru year undu there is a year in the second syllable and because of the year the f o in the first syllable undergoes a change and it becomes fidan to feed so you see how that happened because of a year in the second syllable another vowel in the first syllable undergoes a change a modification okay and then another um, example germanic la veru karyam to derive a noun from an adjective in order to derive a noun from an adjective this suffix was used itu the suffix itu was used let's see lang lang means long plus itu is lang itu let's look at lang itu lang is one syllable e is it is a second syllable so because there is a e in the second syllable this a undergoes a change and it becomes length look how that happened okay and uh, another example is old english in old english in order to form comparative degree or superlative degree of the adjective for comparative ira ira was added for superlative ist was added ist was added and the e caused mutation for example let's look at this ialt ialt means old old plus ialt plus ira ialt ira ialt ira la e karanam because of this e present here this would undergo a change this uh, this is actually a diphthong so yeah in the one diphthong i don't know that diphthong underwent a change for elder the bole yalt plus ist yaldest and because of the e in the second syllable that a underwent a change it became yaldest okay so this is front mutation so because of the influence of front vowels e or y in the second syllable of a word another vowel or diphthong in the first syllable of the word underwent modification that is called front mutation let's look at what back mutation is back mutation is also more or less the same in this what happens is uh, it is also called guttural mutation okay guttural mutation and you know what back vowels during the production of back vowels the back of the tongue is raised towards soft palate and because of the influence of back vowels in the second syllable uh, these vowels a e e uh, a a a r e ingane moonu vowels und these were underwent certain changes uh the, this is not that important but let's look at that uh, an example for this fatu became fiatu okay because of u u is a back vowel u ivada second syllable present ayidund this a underwent a change okay likewise meedu becomes meodu 
because of u in the second syllable a under the change will become meodu and e sinu begin siodu because of u in the second syllable e under the change and became siodu so that is back mutation so that is mutation let's move on to the second sound change in old english so another sound change that took place in old english was called metathesis so metathesis is very easy to understand it is the transposition of two consecutive sounds aduthaduthu kadakkuna rendu sounds thammile angottum ingottum place exchange ye position exchange ye and one or both of this may be consonants idil at least oranamengilum consonant aayirikkum okay aduthaduthu kadakkuna rendu sounds thammile angottum ingottum sthalam maarum adil oranamengilum consonant aayirikkum so metathesis is the transposition of two consecutive sounds two sounds which are close to each other they change places there is only one condition at least one of them should be a consonant for example let's look at this hros in this particular word r and o exchanged position and became hos and then there is bresta brestela r and a exchanged position to become bursta again thridda adile r and e exchange positions to perform third okay so that is metathesis transposition of two consecutive sounds let's look at a blot or vowel gradation so what is a blot so a blot is pretty simple it is even uh, even it, it exists even in uh, modern english so you have certain etymologically related words അതിൻ്റെ ഒറിജിൻ സെയിം ആയിട്ടുള്ള ചില വേർഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ലാംഗ്വേജിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ അതായത് ലെറ്റ്സ് ലുക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ദിസ് ബൈൻഡ് ബാൻഡ് ബൗണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ കുറച്ച് വേർഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ദീസ് ആർ എറ്റിമോളജിക്കലി റിലേറ്റഡ് വേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ചേഞ്ചസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദീസ് വേർഡ്സ് ആർ ഒള്ളി ഇൻ വവൽ വേരിയേഷൻസ് സോ ദീസ് വവൽ വേരിയേഷൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് എ ബ്ലോട്ട് ഓർ വവൽ ഗ്രേഡേഷൻ സോ what happened was you know in indo european language accent or stress was free or variable accent stress evada venamengilum idamayirunnu fixed allayirunnu accent first syllable la thanne accent varanam ennonnu illayirunnu so if if the first syllable was stressed oru word inde aadyatha syllable aanu stress cheyunengil adinte avasanatha syllable padukka padukka weak avu weak ay chalapo adu complete aayi drop iyan idu varu so if the first syllable of a word was stressed the second syllable was uh, gradually weakened or dropped but grim uh, discovered this particular uh, variation and he called it ablot and english philologists called it vowel gradation um even in modern english we have some examples of vowel gradation like bind band bound അതിലെല്ലാം വ്യത്യാസം വരുന്നത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു വവൽ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ ഒള്ളി എ വവൽ ഇൻ ദ റൂട്ട് വിൽ ബി വേരിഡ് വിൽ ബി ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഇൻ ദീസ് എറ്റിമോളജിക്കലി റിലേറ്റഡ് വേർഡ്സ് ദിസ് പ്രോസസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് വവൽ ഗ്രഡേഷൻ ഓർ എബ്ലോട്ട് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ഓൾഡ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് എബ്ലോട്ട് വാസ് ഷോൺ ഇൻ സ്ട്രോങ് വേർബ്സ് സ്ട്രോങ് വേർബ്സ് ആർ വേർബ്സ് വിച്ച് ഷോ ദ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ടെൻസ് ബൈ ചേഞ്ചിങ് എ വവൽ ഇൻ ദ റൂട്ട് ഒരു വേർഡിൻ്റെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു വേർബിൻ്റെ റൂട്ടിലെ വവൽ മാത്രം ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ട് പാസ്റ്റ് ടെൻസ് കാണിക്കുന്ന ടെൻസ് മാറ്റം കാണിക്കുന്ന വേർഡ്സിനെ വേർബ്സിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ സ്ട്രോങ് വേർബ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അതിലാണ് നമുക്ക് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അബ്ലോട്ട് കാണാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ലെറ്റ് സി ഇൻ ദി ദീസ് ദീസ് ആർ ഫ്യൂ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഡ്രൈവ് ഡ്രോവ് ഡ്രിവൻ ചൂസ് ചോസ് ചോസൻ സിങ് സാങ് സങ് സ്റ്റീൽ സ്റ്റോൾ സ്റ്റോളൻ ഈറ്റ് ഏറ്റ് ഈറ്റൻ യു യു നോ ഹൗ ഇൻ ഓൾ ദീസ് വേർഡ്സ് ദർ ഇസ് നോട്ട് മച്ച് ചേഞ്ച് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ വേർഡ്സ് എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ദ വവൽ ഇൻ ദ റൂട്ട് സൊ എബ്ലോട്ട് ഹാസ് ആക്ച്വലി ഹെൽപ്ഡ് ഇൻ ഗ്രോത്ത് ഓഫ് എ കാബ്ലറി ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ന്യൂ വേർഡ്സ് ബൈ ചേഞ്ചിങ് അ വവൽ ഇൻ ദ റൂട്ട് സോ 
Uh, this brings us to the end of the class. So, we discussed three important sound changes in Old English, mutation, metathesis and ablot or vowel gradation. I hope this was uh, beneficial to you. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day. Bye.